In this tutorial, I'll show you how to cut perfect holes on both curved and straight surfaces without having shading issues. Let's start by adding a cube and subdividing it to have more faces. But be careful not to over subdivide it because too many faces will be destructive. Now select some faces, make sure your selection is even, like three by three or four by four. To cut a hole, we'll use the loop tool. If you don't have it, go to Edit, Preferences, Get Extensions, search for Loop Tools, install it, and don't forget to save preferences. Now inset the selection by pressing I, then left click to apply. Scale it as needed, then right click Loop Tool Circle. If the circle looks twisted, just adjust the angle in the settings down there until it's perfect. Now delete these faces by pressing X Faces. Now let's add some thickness by adding a Solidify modifier. Select a circle, press Shift G to select similar, then press Amount of Faces, it will select all the circles. Then press U and mark Seam. This trick will make it easier to select them again later when adding a bevel. Now go to the Modifier tab, select Generate, Solidify Modifier, change the thickness to 0.1. As we see, the thickness is not even. To fix it, check the Even Thickness box, then apply the modifier. Now select one of the holes, press Shift-G to select similar, Seam. Now all holes are selected. Press B to bevel, go down and open the menu, change segments to 2, set shape to 1, and adjust the width as needed. Now all holes are even and clean. Now let's see how to cut holes in curved surfaces. Add a circle with 16 vertices, extrude it up by pressing E, then type 5, rotate it 90 degrees and add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl R. To add more loop cuts, just scroll up or enter the number you want directly. I will add 10 loop cuts. Now let's select some faces, inset them by pressing I, then right click and choose Loop Tools Circle. The faces are not smooth along the cylinder, so open the menu below and uncheck Flatten. It looks much better. Let's extrude them slightly with E. Keep the intersection selected. Go to Select. Select Loops. Select Boundary Loops. Then while holding Shift key, select one of the outer circles by pressing Shift Alt to select the circle. Press Shift G to select similar face angles. Now let's bevel them by pressing Control B and adding a small bevel with a shape of one. That's it. You have learned how to cut holes like a pro instead of using the Boolean tool, which takes a lot of time to clean up after using it. If this helped you, stick around more is coming soon. And if you know someone who needs this, feel free to share it with them.